Hi everyone, in this video I am going to explain about monopole striking radar which is nothing but amplitude comparison on coordinate system. I will tell you what is this amplitude comparison on coordinate. See monopole striking radar, what do you mean by monopulse by seeing the name monopulse, mono means single. So it is nothing but single pulse operation, single pulse operation. So only one pulse is sufficient to get the target information and it has to be tracked. Okay, so in order to track the object and get the information of the target, the single pulse is sufficient, mono pulse is sufficient to get the target information and as well as to track the target. Okay, now, so monopulse striking radar, monopulse striking radar, is of two types very very important this one monopole striking radar is of two types so what are the first one is amplitude comparison amplitude comparison and the second one is phase comparison Amplitude comparison and phase comparison. In amplitude comparison, amplitude comparison monopole striking radar, there are again two types. One is two coordinate, uh, sorry, one coordinate, and here it is two coordinates. Okay, so that means if the x axis direction is x axis is there, that means that is nothing but one coordinate, that is nothing but either vertical direction or horizontal direction. One coordinate is nothing but either vertical direction or horizontal direction. Two coordinates is nothing but it satisfies both horizontal and as well as vertical movement. So, here in the monopole striking radar, in monopulse. Tracking radar, a single pulse is sufficient, single pulse is sufficient to track the target. First we need to get the target information and as well as to track the target so uh, now we have we may have a doubt how to get uh, how to use a single target for the entire purpose how a single target single pulse is going to be helping us uh, for this uh, tracking purpose how many pulses we have used in the previous case were like uh, switching uh, sequential sequential switching and conical scan method in conical scan method a beam is continuously generated that beam is rotating and antenna plate is keep on rotating but whereas in the sequential scanning method, we minimum require two signals spotted at a different focus at a two different positions. Okay, we are taking two, we are calculating the target information with the help of minimum two signals there, two beams are there. But whereas in this monopole striking radar, only one beam is sufficient to identify the target. But the main logic involved here is it uses. only one antenna beam it uses only one antenna beam only one antenna beam so how a single antenna beam is sufficient that is nothing but with two antenna feeds antenna feeds okay so how it is working i will explain here take a parabolic antenna which is having two antennas inside that means the two feeds inside so these two are connected internally and it is the antenna plate okay so in monopole striking radar we are using a single antenna plate parabolic reflector is single plate we are using but with two feeds feeds are increasing we are minimum of two feeds are increased we are increasing the number of feeds so that we can cover more number of area 
okay if these two are like this it covers a vertical movement if these two are in this direction it covers the horizontal direction so in this way we will use a single pulse monopulse striking radar uses a single pulse with two different antenna feeds that means with this releases signal and this also releases signals but what is the final outcome on the top of this what we can say we can use a single antenna beam but internally there are two feeds which are again generating two different signals now in the resultant we will get the sum and the difference of these two signals like hybrid junction okay so in return when these two signals are coming back from the target the output of this one is given to antenna plates so what this antenna plate will do antenna plate will collect the information okay so that the tracking should be done that means it gives two measurements like a sum and difference sum signal and as well as difference signal i will tell you with the help of diagram see here this diagram shows the first figure a shows the signals released into the free space with two beams from two different feeds with the same antenna hope you understand what i am saying single parabolic antenna is there but two feeds are there two different beams are there at a time it is generating but if you particularly talk about a single beam or single uh, feed then each feed will generate only one pulse now, that is nothing but mono pulse okay this is the polar representation and this is the rectangular representation <laughs> okay so in polar representation it shows the two beams like this but in rectangular representation it shows two waveforms like this now it, the outputs of this one is given to a uh, sum and difference channel it produces sum and as well as produces difference so this is the sum signal in polar representation and this is the sum representation in a rectangular representation and this is sum and this is a difference which is nothing but a sum signal what is this this is different signals different signal which produces like this okay this is the error signal symbolic uh, graphical representation how the error signal is there okay now using this method how to construct the block diagram we will see now see this is the block diagram of monopulse stacking radar nothing but amplitude comparison monopulse stacking radar with the help of only one coordinate system remember one coordinate system will rotate the antenna plate in only two directions upward direction or downward direction no, sorry in the left hand direction or right hand direction nothing but <coughs> on the same plane only one coordinate system remember now i am discussing about only one coordinate system one coordinate system 1d only one dimensional we are explaining now okay that means either in the x direction or in the y direction okay so in the in this direction or in this direction vertical direction or horizontal direction now let's go back to the block diagram of this amplitude comparison monopole stacking radar how it is going to be generating transmitting section is always same because we are not working here with the help for the transmitter transmitters we have already designed with different types of uh, empty radar with the power amplifier transmitter empty radar with the power oscillator transmitter different types of uh, uh, pulse modulations are there so whatever may be the transmitter the output of this one is given to a duplexer nothing but tr tr is nothing but transmit and receive okay it is the duplexer we have so this duplexer output is given to what is this hybrid junction hybrid junction see the antenna antenna now it is having two feeds now it is having two feeds and the hybrid junction is nothing but your rat race junction or um, magic t junction or whatever may be the e junction so whatever may be this we are having a hybrid junction that hybrid junction should get the input from the transmitter and given to these two feeds this direction and as well as this direction so it produces the signal and uh, the signal will be radiated into the free space like this depending upon the resultant signal we will be again sending back the signal into two channels one is into the sum channel another one is into the difference channel so this is the sum uh, difference channel and this is the sum channel 
so the output of this one is given to duplexer what is the purpose of duplexer to prevent the entry of the transmitting signal into the receiver and as well as to uh, to prevent the entry of the receiving signal into the transmitting section so it goes in this direction and it goes in this direction so the output of this one tr is given to mixer what is the purpose of mixer mixer is used to mix the lock loss letter signal to convert the incoming rf signal into if signal so mixer lock loss letter and it is given to if amplifier it is given to if amplifier because the rf signal is going to be converted into if signal that's why if amplifier the output of this one is given to amplitude detector and the other on the other hand the same output is given to this phase, uh, phase sense 2 detector okay which is connected with the difference channel okay <laughs> difference channel same channels we are having some channel is same and the difference channel is also same the output of this one is given to phase sense 2 detector to get the angle error information and as well as the output of IF amplifier is given to amplitude detector to detect the range information related to amplitude okay so block uh, ampli monopole stacking radar is nothing but a single antenna single beam is sufficient to track the object so how a single beam is sufficient is nothing but your entire concept <laughs> in the receiver section we are having a mixer lock loss letter if amplifier and phase sense to detector the output of this sum channel and difference channel hybrid junction we know magically how it is generating uh, uh, sum and how it is generating the difference so the output of this one see here it is a address junction i told you already the output of this one is given to this channel this channel which is nothing but sum channel and this channel is nothing but delta okay sum channel and difference channel delta is nothing but here difference channel the output of this one is given to this one which is the next succeeding port that will be taking the input and remaining entire signal is lost so the output of this one is given to this and it is given to the feed and in return the signal will be having two different uh, formations one is sum and as well as difference the sum channel is going to collect whatever the uh, blocks are there again the difference channel output is again passing through mixer if amplifier and then phase detector okay so the output of this one can be utilized to get the range signal and as well as range signal and as well as amplitude error signal amplitude angle angle error signal this angle error signal again we know how to make this antenna plate to be rotated in that particular direction in which the target is moving okay so this is the block diagram of monopole stacking radar only one coordinate system see here only in the vertical direction or in the horizontal direction we are moving okay so this is what the amplitude comparison monopole stacking radar thank you